Hey guys, Super Doc Wolf Final Wars here, and today I'm going to be doing a little what if scenario. And this is going to be somewhat of another Attack on Titan what if scenario. Now, for today's scenario, we're going to be discussing Did Mikasa really marry Jean? For those of you who are confused, let me basically explain. Basically, in the Attack on Titan ending, Mikisa was forced to kill Arid in order to save the world. And Aaron stated that he wants Mikasa to live a long and happy life. And that he hates the idea of Mikasa, Mikasa falling for another man. He absolutely hates that idea. He wants Mikasa to only love him and him alone. Aaron even says that even if she does forget about him, he wants her to take her 10 years at least. So, to me, in my honest opinion, it really doesn't make any sense for Mika Sutz of just flat out marry Sean. We don't even know how much time was passing during somewhat the epilogue of the ending of Attack on Titan. Now, for those who are going to say, well, Super Final Wars, it's been confirmed on the Attack on Titan Wikipedia or whatever, on the freaking Google, that Nietzsche did marry John. Well, I don't think that's the case because... We don't get a good long look at the man that Mikasa is married to. In, in the, the freaking manga, we're just showing the back side of the guy like, that she's with. And then uh, what you're also going to say, well, Jean basically dreamt about him and Mikasa becoming a you know, like husband and wife. Well, let's get this out of the way. Sean has had a massive crush on Mikasa for the longest time. And a lot of people who ship Aaron and Mikasa do like Gothel Life videos. And freaking, they always have Mikasa to reject Sean on every single freaking time. It's not funny. It's actually not funny. If anything, that kind of shows you one thing. Mikasa doesn't really love Jean. If anything, she actually doesn't want anything to do with Jean. Sure, she may see him as a friend, but she doesn't want anything romantically... Like, she doesn't want to be, like, in a romantic relationship with Jean. Now, what could this mean for the ending of Attack on Titan? Well... I may have a theory about that ending. And it might seem crazy. But I think Mikasa didn't marry anyone, but instead adopt a kid. Let me explain. So, Mikasa lost her family due to murderers and people who were attempting to sell her or do whatever it was they were planning on doing. And basically, we also get other scenes of Mikasa living with the Jaeger family. Because Grisha Jaeger did offer Mikasa to live with them.
and every single fanfic and freaking ASMR video that I checked or watched, Mikasa always had a child and named that child Carla. In every single ASMR and fanfic video that I saw, they Mikasa named her daughter Carla because of the woman who raised her. And I think Mikasa wanted to do the exact same thing. Adopt a kid and raise it as one of her own. Hell, we might even take it a step further and basically kind of imagine a scenario where Mikasa actually rather takes Aaron Yeager's last name. Sorry about that. Anyway. We can even imagine a scenario where Mitsa ends up, like, adopting a kid and takes Aaron Yeager's, like, last name. And even does the same for the kid. Maybe, like, she has that kid to take Aaron's last name. Or something like that. I don't know. Either way, I don't see a scenario where John is able to live on parody. Because, look at it this way. Jean was a person that helped well, Mikasa with the death of Aaron Yeager. And since a lot of, a lot of members of the Yeagerists were still living on, were still alive, I don't see how Jean can live on parody peacefully. Unless Armin was managed to somewhat make it for where Sean can live, but I still don't see that happening, because like, really, like, I don't see how he can live on parody peacefully without getting threats. from the Jaegerists, because the Jaegerists are still on parody, and the fact that people don't seem to realize it paints a bigger picture here. So, in the end, I don't think Mika married Jean. If anything, I think she took a kid in as one of her own. Maybe she, like, encounter, like, maybe she was, like, walking down the street after, like, getting some groceries, and... Like, she ends up finding, like, an orphaned baby and ends up taking it in as one of her own. Yes, Mikita can still have, like, a daughter, daughter-in-law, or a son-in-law, and grandkids, but her and John being a thing, I just don't see a, that happening. Like, yes, Aaron did say that he wants Mikasa to live a long and happy life, but... Like, still, I don't see... John living on parody peacefully without getting threats. Either way, it makes no sense for Mikasa to marry John. If anything, I don't think Mikasa did marry John. If anything, I think she just simply adopted a kid and, and raised that kid as one of her own. I mean, I don't see Misa being happy with someone. If anything, I think she can find happiness without a lover in her life. I think she can just simply find happiness through adoption and be happy like that way. And who knows, maybe that kid that she ends up adopting ends up seeing Aaron as their father. 
but a father that they never got a chance to know. In the end, I don't think Misa married John. Even if the wiki, even if the internet says that she does marry John, I don't think that's possible. Because again, the Jaegers wouldn't basically allow John to live on parody because, well, he assisted with the death of Eric Jaeger. And as a result, that basically makes it impossible for Sean to live on parody peacefully. And again, I, I just don't see that happening unless, well, Armin and Historia made it possible for Sean to live on Parody Island peacefully. Until we get, like, a bit more information, I don't see Jean being Mixa's husband. If anything, I think she adopted a kid. I think she just simply adopted a kid and raised it as one of her own. It may not be her biological kid. But yeah, that's it for this video. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me in the comments below, what do you think? Do you think Mikisa really did marry Jean, or do you think she simply adopted a kid and raised it as one of her own? Let me know. Please. Hope you guys have a great day, and peace out.